<laughs> Why do I get the feeling that there's going to be a bloody rat <laughs> led by Seedpaw? Oh, goodness. Um, what are her stats? She is... She is uh, strongest in physique, actually. She's got nine in that. Uh, second highest is uh, finesse with seven. Everything else is kind of eh. Okay, let's go back to the arena and do some more fighting. All right. Red Lady is too strong. Too strong. Spend the week fighting Brutes in the arena. Two physique and one more finesse. Oh, looks like it's your turn for this one. One day in between matches, you stumble upon one of the higher-ranked fighters ingesting illegal strength potions. Well, it's a little bit different for me, because for you, it was like... That's true. You, you knew where to bet. She's my competition, so I'm turning her ass in. All right. Report I her. I, I don't need her potion anyway. I'm already too strong. <laughs> You report the fighter to the arena officials. They thank you for bringing it to their attention and hand you a small sack of coins. Gain two wealth. The fighter is investigated and receives a lifetime ban from the arena. See, that was smart on your part. You'll never have to face her again. Exactly. He's going to go party. Yeah, He's gonna party I, just, all I just remembered. <laughs> Spend the week attending fancy gatherings. Two charm and one finesse. My charm, it seems like I'm going two steps forward, one step back. <laughs> one day the king approaches you. Excuse me, but you look like someone who I can confide in. He says, I really want a prince to take over the throne, but I just can't get it up. <laughs> so I'm, I'm totally going to give him all the pointers he needs. All right. Yeah, I, gonna, I, I, I got this. You got to teach the king your ways. Oh, hell yeah. We're, he's going to learn all about Astro Glide and... <laughs> You spend hours drawing a bunch of diagrams and going through scenarios with the king. <laughs> wow! Flowchart sex. <laughs> By the end of it, he's just as charming as you are. See, the trick is, don't learn how to juggle. <laughs> Hands you a large sack of coins as a reward. No one likes a juggler. <laughs> Gain three well. Uh, that's the halfway point. Let's see. Where else can I tend to? Can I, can I clean the slums at all? You could clean up crime. Yeah, I'll, I'll clean up crime. Fight crime. Clean, clean up this city. You spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. I call myself the cleaner. <laughs> One night, a man walks up to you. Excuse me, miss. Feeling a little lonely tonight? He asks. For only a small amount of coin, I can make you feel good all night. Well, I do have two wealth. Yeah, sure, let's do this. A, little, a, a washerwoman needs to get her pleasures where she can. You hand him over a small sack of coins. You lose two wealth. On your way to your house, you start talking philosophy, history, magic, everything, really. Oh, the two of you, you have an amazing... Oh, I'm shocked! <laughs> the two of you have an amazing conversation that goes well into the morning. You gain two mind and one charm. The man apologizes for the lack of sex, but thanks you for the chat. <laughs> <laughs> he refunds you back half of what you spent. You gain one wealth. What? <laughs> <laughs> Not sex, and that's the important thing. Eric. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Do I have any money right now? Yeah, I do. It's tavern time. It's drank. <laughs> Get your drank on. You <laughs> spend the entire week getting wasted. You gain two charm and one physique. One day, while in the tavern, you hear a large commotion outside. Well, let's go see what's going on. Outside, you see a crowd of angry people carrying torches and pitchforks. Kill the dryad! They chant in a sort of 
synchronized cacophony. We kill the dryad? They're all running to the middle of town. Working your way through the mob, you find a dryad running away. <laughs> I was just looking for someone to dance with. She sobs. <laughs> Not running very fast <laughs> with a broken foot. <laughs> you shout at the top of your lungs for the crowd to stop what they're doing. You hear murmurs in the crowd. Soon enough, the crowd disperses. The dryad runs up to you and gives you a kiss on the cheek. You feel energy radiate through your body, and then you turn into a plant. <laughs> you gain three finesse. All right, what's what's a uh, strong girl gonna do? Um, well, someone's got to go back to the garden to see if that beanstalk ever grew. Oh, that's true. Are you gonna landscape or meditate? Uh, we'll do some. Well, yeah, we'll do some landscaping. All right. She's not really the meditative type. Not really. <laughs> She's more the punch, the, punch from... the trees into submission <laughs> type. Spend the week maintaining the plants in the royal garden. You gain finesse, physique, and gain wealth. Earn one wealth. One day while in the gardens, you notice a beanstalk. Uh -huh. Oh my god, it did turn into a beanstalk. I can eat it or water it. Uh, there's a couple weeks left. Maybe we can see what happens if we water it. Let's water it. All right. This is this this is intrigued me. <laughs> if plants could express emotions, it would let you know how delighted it is to be watered. Oh right. I was moving him off, and I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> He's not done partying yet. Spend the week attending fancy gatherings. One day you hear somebody shouting something in the hallway. There's a bomb in the palace! They scream. Oh god. Oh god. I am not qualified to deal with this. There's a mass panic as people try desperately to escape the palace's walls. Well, your choice is... Uh... I don't have any... You're really effects. charming. <laughs> um, let's try, let's try to disarm the bomb. All right. Well, we might as well give it the old college try, right? Because, you know, if the bomb goes off, we won't have anywhere to party, so... This is true. You run deeper into the castle, trying to figure out where the explosives are hidden. You manage to find them in the wine cellar, disguised as barrels of... Somebody's messing with the wine. That is not cool. No. The bomb appears to be on a detonator that is controlled by a powerful magic. Also, it looks like this ball is populated by ghosts. <laughs> you realize immediately you won't be able to figure it out. Get out of the building as quick <laughs> as you can. Whoops. You're almost out when the bomb goes off. Did I explode? It is a huge explosion that knocks you through a wall. Ow! You lose one physique. Oh no! <laughs> Where am I gonna party now? Well, not at the palace. <laughs> the most depressing thing that's ever happened. <laughs> palace is gone. Gonzo, man. Alright, Blue Lady is gonna go clean the forest of trees. <laughs> You spend the week cutting down trees for the village, gain two physique, and earn one wealth. One day you come across a group of people in the woods. From the expressions on their faces, they appear to be lost. I can rob them or help them. Hmm. I don't think you're the robbing type. I well, really... You, you could clean out their pocketbooks, put it that way. Yeah. Nah, I'll help them. You confront the group and try to help them find their way back to town. With ease, you lead everyone back to town. Extremely grateful, the group gives you a small token of their appreciation. You gain two wealth. Alright. It's kind of a goody two-shoes. This guy's gonna go do his elephant sculpture in the gardens again. Because someone keeps cutting into a bunny. <laughs> One day, you notice a glowing beanstalk in a corner of the garden. When you get closer, everything flashes white. The beanstalk transformed into a small gnome. The gnome thanks you for freeing him from the magical seeds. 
As a reward, he offers a choice between the following. I can have the blessings of the tangible or the blessings of the cerebral. I'm more interested in where this old woman is getting gnome seeds from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good question. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, my mind isn't so hot, so I'm going to go with the tangible blessings. Or maybe I should shore up the mind a bit. Eh, it could go either way. Which do you think? Um, not sure. I mean, you have to consider it's coming from a gnome that just hatched out of a beanstalk. <laughs> That's true. So I think all bets are off at this point. Yeah. <laughs> you think Cerebral will give you mind and magic? It might. I'm, I'm kind of lacking in both of those things. Right. Uh, yeah, I'll go with Cerebral then. You gain three mind. That's not bad. And three charm. Oh, nice. And three magic. Oh, nice. That was a good event. Beanstalk gnome is a bro. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take Red Lady. Let's go back to the arena. All right. Yeah. Let's do some more fighting. Competing in the fights. I'm gonna go ahead and line up all the asses to be kicked. Spend a week fighting brutes. Two physique and one finesse. One night on your way home, you spot a rusty dagger on the ground. Ooh, Perhaps maybe, I'm worthy of maybe it. Maybe you'll be worthy. Pick it up. Oh. You're not worthy. What do you want, disembodied dagger? Voice? I don't know. I would dagger. love to know how to get this event to go our way. You know well, what? I'm pressing, got... I'm pressing the palace button as hard as I can here. He has nothing... nothing left to turn, so... And he has no marketable skills, so he's got to go pickpocket. Okay. To shore up a living. You spend the week performing petty thefts. You gain one wealth and two finesse. One night, a small child approaches you with his hands cupped and outstretched towards you. He doesn't say anything but just looks up at you with wide eyes, waiting expectantly. Hmm, you could afford this. Uh, yeah, give him a coin. That's, that's fine. You toss him a sack of coins. I know what it's like to have lost something <laughs> wonderful. He thanks you and walks away. In my case, it was being fabulous. <laughs> the next night, you recognize him on the street. You spot him eating what looks like a fresh loaf of bread. He sees you and smiles. You got plus one smiles. Oh, plus one smile. You feel good about yourself. Your stats didn't go up. <laughs> you... Oh, I got one fizzy. I'm not really sure how, but... And one finesse. And one mine. <laughs> and one charm? <laughs> Just how god damn how good do I feel about myself? You feel really good. I had like a fresh bread orgasm in the slump. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's see. And I'm gonna mop up the Alchemy Tower one last time. Very well. You spend the week cleaning up noxious chemicals. You're paid one wealth for your labor and gain one physique and one magic. <laughs> 